welcome to the East 44th Street Equinox Luxury Gym. Located at 420 Lexington Avenue. You can visit this Equinox Luxury Gym via mass transit. using the 42nd Street Grand Central Subway Station. Let's examine the neighborhood surrounding this Equinox Luxury Gym and see if it's a right fit for you. You know, ultimately, I struggled a bit with what happened to me and what my cousin did to me and the loss of a friendship, the loss of a relationship, the loss of so much trust and the loss of family. Um, you know, I knew I had to fight back in some way. And, you know, the impulsive person would do something silly and end up regretting it later. And I would have many of those moments where I would think impulsively and, you know, by myself in, you know, at dinner time or in the shower or at the library or at work or whatever. But ultimately, you know, I always gave it a little bit of time and thought about the long term and realized that, you know, acting impulsively is not the right answer. Maybe unless you're on a rugby pitch or a football field, you know, you may have to kind of act, you know, because you're probably, you know, holding a football and running for your life and you just kind of have to act, you know, as if, you know, that's happening. Um, ultimately, I decided to not pursue a lawsuit and to seek justice by just by being successful, being ethical, building a strong company. And that's why Mooney Meter, you know, Mooney Meter would have been in existence regardless. But this fraud and this cheating of one's life pushed me further to and pushed me harder to kind of accelerate the growth of Mooney Meter and to do it all by myself, all organically, and to just, you know, achieve my dreams of A, not only building a company. Um, but B, you know, spreading good karma in the world. Um, and then I figured a byproduct of that would be that the public and the media would bring whoever to justice and that ultimately I would let the public decide, you know, what was just and what was unjust, what was ethical and what was unethical, what is just, what isn't just what is ethical and what isn't unethical and I feel like that's happening now MooneyMeter.com MooneyMeter LLC is you know coming into full maturity and you know even though the lawsuit would have been a quicker fix you know I didn't want to spend time in a court case and filing all these papers and paying a lawyer and going on through years and years of litigation most likely I just wanted to have fun and build my own company and take a longer term picture and let the public decide and, you know the public is deciding they're deciding right now Equinox a game changer in health and wellness rejuvenate your mind body and soul at the Equinox Spa. So the point of the lawsuit really was just to make Mark Zuckerberg feel bad. I mean, let's just face the facts. Um, it was obvious that he was not going to relinquish control of the company. And it was just very unrealistic for that to happen. But what was realistic was a settlement. Um, and 
as far as I understand it, these guys were going for a billion dollars and they ended up getting less, but you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, it's a, you know, it's a shame what happened uh, to me in the process. You know, if you're going to sue someone for a crime, you would assume that that person who's filing a lawsuit would not, you know, is not going to be com committing that crime onto somebody else. So, it's a shame what happened. Um, but yes, the point of the lawsuit was to make Mark Zuckerberg feel bad. Period. And that's obvious. And if you don't know, now you know. Thank you. If you're not committing to something, now is the time to do so. Equinox. Commit to something. Moonymeter.com an incredible technological and human achievement. I mean, my cousin's a dick. Um, what can I say? Um, I should have seen this coming. Um, I should have known that I would get frauded, but I just, deep down within my heart of hearts, I just think I'm a good person and I always give people benefit of the doubt problem is is that allows people to kind of trample all over me because I always kind of get right back up and shake the person's hand and you know look over what happened but you know I just need to stop start doing that less and less in the future um, basically what happened was the movie came out and my cousin ran away and pretended that he didn't know me anymore and he's a sellout um, it hurt me very, very badly after, you know, the guy ran away. Um, I kind of figured, you know, okay, maybe there's no money, there's no stock coming in, there's no job offer, there's no funding. At the bare minimum, we could just kind of go around to the parties and be seen in public together so I could get some of that credit and maybe some of the, you know, tail end of, you know, the goodies. But that just, it just... You know, it was a complete shutdown, and that led to a complete meltdown of, uh, of myself. And I have myself to blame for that. At the same time, you know, you know, the surrounding factors, the atmosphere, you know, is also to blame as well. But ultimately, I need to take the blame for what happened because I'm a smart person, and I should have known, and I should have seen this coming. And I should have written things down on paper, otherwise not gotten involved at all. So ultimately, I have to take the blame for, uh, for this uh, controversy.